Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. I'm, I didn't know if anyone was going to come. You know, make these movies, and um, John and the incredible team at this theater, and everyone who put together this retrospective, are so incredibly kind and have this vision that we're going to show my old movie. And I was so excited to see them again for myself, but then I kind of wondered if I was going to be the only person retrospecting on my career. And um, uh, I really love this movie. I really love the people in this movie. And we have a little special treat at the beginning to share with you. Um, that is very hot off the presses. And um, it's really something to be able to look at the movie again. Um, this first came out in 2013. And it was a real joy to make. And it's, it's a film that I always feel is, is I'm really proud of. I'm really proud of all my movies, but this one somehow, um, I don't know, it just, it, it didn't sound like a very good idea. It's the, it's the one that was just like the kind of craziest idea of mine that I sort of feel personally for myself, I landed, you know what I mean? I accomplished what I wanted to do with it not even knowing where it was going to go when I began it. And so there's something about this one particularly that, that seems kind of a little bit harder to pull off. You know, in the gymnastics Olympics, because I can get the difficulty marks. I kind of feel like this was a bit more of a difficulty rate on the snowboarding competition, in fact, right? You have these, I feel like it was, this was a film that was like a little bit more of a unlikely thing to land. So um, I am excited to see it again, see if I really think I did land it or what happened. And something else that's really thrilling, we had this amazing screening last night, Wasteland. I haven't watched that film in a long time. And not since I've made Mountain Queen, which is my new film. And I was sitting there, and of course, now that I've made Mountain Queen, I was looking and thinking, oh, it's interesting, the parallels. And I don't know, has anyone out there had a chance to watch Mountain Queen yet? You just saw a trailer for it. Yes, yeah, so oh look, oh look, there's a couple. Amazing. Well, it's on Netflix as of last Wednesday. And that is about, thank you, it's about another incredible person. I say another because you're about to meet some incredible people. And um, uh, so I'm really interested to see what the parallels might be between Mountain Queen and the Crash Reel. Um, I kind of think they're awesome, especially because it's about incredible people, incredible family, <coughs> incredibly dangerous and fascinating things to do, like Mike Everest or a snowboard. But anyway, so it's a real, joy and if you haven't had a chance to watch Mountain Queen, amazing and the films tomorrow as well are not available uh, to stream. The two that they're playing tomorrow in particular, I'm really excited about seeing again because you can't find them anywhere. I, you, know, you could get a DVD potentially but they're not available to stream easily and um, I'm worried about Amish Kids, that's Devil's Playground which is completely riveting stuff. That's my first film, Devil's Playground. And one of them, Blindside, is about some extraordinary people climbing Mount Everest, um, which I kind of now jokingly call my first Everest movie because of Mountain Queen. And that is also currently not available. It hasn't been for a while. So um, it's so exciting to be here. I'm going to shut up now and really um, uh, thank you for coming. And um, before we move, we have just a little special update, which I hope wasn't a spoiler alert, by the way. It kind of is now that I think about it. Anyway, we're just going to spoil the whole movie for you right at the beginning. Here we go.